What's up guys, Enrique here with another video on the MPC. This time I'm showing you how to create an auto load folder to speed up your beat making process. Let's get into it. And really quick, if you don't know what an auto load folder is, auto load folder is a folder that will automatically load every single time you turn on your MPC. So it'll recall a ton of different settings and tracks and programs and multis and everything every single time, which is awesome. In my mind, a game changer when it comes to speeding up the process of making music on your MPC. Again, I'm pretty sure this works on most MPCs, but it's very prominent here in the MPC 4000 because it is so deep in ways that most MPCs aren't, which allow you to recall a lot of the settings that you normally use when making a track. So first and foremost, you want to start off on a blank session, like pretty much nothing. So when I made my auto load feature, I made sure I didn't have any samples at all loaded onto my machine. But what I did do is I knew majority of the time what I normally use when it comes to me making tracks. So you can see here, track one, I named it kick, track two, named it clap, hats, perks, and so on. So I normally use those main four and then five honestly is usually chords and then six is normally a bass line. So for example, if I wanted to add that right now, what I would do is you go and you highlight track, you hit the window button, this will pop up and this you cannot edit until you turn the jog wheel. So I'm gonna turn the jog wheel and you'll see that it changes. Boom, and now I can actually name it something. So I'm gonna name it chords, C-H-O-R-D-S. Shift back or left, I should say, to delete the rest, hit enter, cool, close. What part is it gonna be? It's gonna be part five. And of course, all this depends on how you like to work. This is the way I like to work. Um, I won't even set it to a program for now just because I normally set up a program called chords, so on and so forth. So then let's go track over and we'll name track six bass. So again, window, turn this, rename it B-A-S-S, -S, boom, boom, boom. And if you wanna be really nitpicky about stuff, you can go ahead and capitalize stuff and this and the next. And remember that this is gonna be every single time you turn on your MPC. So if there's one thing that is kind of annoying, after you do an auto load, you might as well change it because it's always gonna be annoying. I can tell you right now that I've probably made like 20 or more auto load folders and deleted old ones because I would remember one last thing that I forgot to add. So with that being said, cool, done, hit enter, go back to main. And another thing in my queue setup, if you hit setup, you can see that part, this top one, Q1 is set up to part five, the cutoff, which is normally my chords and that's the filter cutoff. So that's like, I almost use that in every song. So set it up. Cool, again, you can see that if I hit the sample button, I have no samples. So I don't want any samples to automatically load, but you might want that. So if you want that, load those samples up and put them in here. Once you have everything set up the exact same way you want, tempo, swing, uh, metronome on, monitoring, any little setting, you're set, you're ready to create your auto load folder. All right, so after you have everything set up the exact same way you want it to be, what you're gonna do next is you're gonna hit save, you're gonna go down to your main directory, right, right here, and you're gonna say new, new folder, and you're gonna name it auto load, and this part is very important. A-U-T-O-L-O-A-D, one word, and the A should be capitalized. Not necessarily sure if that makes a difference or not, but it takes two seconds to do, so do it. So once you have this set up, auto load, hit enter and do it. Boom, so now your auto load is set up. So what you can do is go to the top and save entire memory. All songs, sequences, blah, 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 within that folder. So make sure that folder is highlighted. You hit right. There's no files in here. I'm gonna hit the block cursor to go up to the type we want to scroll over to save entire memory, hit enter, replace same items, and hit do it. So now that that's saved, you can see all our stuff is set up here. Our program, our multi, and so on and so forth in the auto load folder. Another important thing to check when you're trying to do the auto load thing is to make sure that your auto load feature is actually turned on within the MPC. So to do that, you're going to hit global, which is going to be this here, 
and you're going to see on the F1 page, this one that it starts up on, you're going to go down to where it says auto load and make sure it's turned on. So it might be on off, but make sure it turned on. Then you can go back to main. So let's recap real quick. One is kick, two is clap, three is hats, blah, 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 blah. Seven is unused. I'm going to power down. Uh, wait a little bit and power it back up. And let's see if this worked. Akai Professional NPC 4000. And you'll see briefly that it says loading auto load folder for like a split second and that little girl will pop up. Boom, boom, done. So you can see it's loaded up exactly the way we were. Track six, base, so on and so forth. But you can see that now I have to track over back to track one every single time. That's gonna be annoying to me. So I'm gonna go back and save this again. So now that I'm on track one, kick, hit save, go down, auto load, boom, boom, up to the top, save entire memory, do it, replace same items, it's done, cool, turn it off, turn it back on, and let's see if now it'll go back to track one instead of track six, which is the base. Bam, you see that? Track one, kick. So it loaded everything exactly the last way I left it, even to the page or track number that I was on. If this video helps, leave a like and a comment down below. If it didn't and you still have a few more questions on how this actually works, leave a comment down below and I'll get to it as soon as I can. As always, share the love, share the knowledge. Knowledge is power. Peace.